Good morning, everybody. I am the only one here today. That's why I'm still in the tarp shed. Got this thing all tarped up, ready to go. And yes, if there was someone else here, of course, I would have moved out so that they could get their tarps on. But if no one else is here, may as well tarp it all inside. I mean, that looks like a pretty Christmas present, if you ask me. I can't believe I'm the only one here. I got to the gate at, uh, I was here at about 6.30 a.m. They opened the gate at 7 a.m. And uh, I'm the only one here still. I'm already done and tarped. I don't know where everyone else is. It's like, it's like the twilight zone. It's weird. It's usually just super busy here in the mornings when I get here. It's usually like 10, 15 trucks. I'm the only one. Am I supposed to be here? I mean, they gave me my load, right? Before we get started with today's video, Today's special shout out goes to our friends at Howes Products. You can find a link to their website down below, my video in the description, all the diesel treatment products you need. Best of the best. Go check them out. So I'm done. I'm on my way down to Brainerd now. We'll be unloaded this afternoon and I have a 9 a.m. appointment tomorrow morning to get reloaded in Minneapolis or Shakopee. And I'm gonna take that load back to Winnipeg and I'll deliver that the next morning. And we'll go from there. today when I'm filming this and I'm not gonna get to see it cuz the whole sky is covered in clouds that's too bad I don't have solar eclipse glasses anyway so I wouldn't be able to look at it but, and I think where I am we're only getting a partial eclipse and that'll be in uh, about an hour or two I think So did any of you get to see the eclipse? Were you in the path of totality? I don't know yet, I'll be able to tell you later on in this vlog, but I don't think I'm gonna get to see it at all. And this, where I am here in Minnesota, we're not in the path of totality either, but I, maybe, but maybe I'll get to see the sky darken a little bit. Maybe, we'll see. pretty cool you know I'm kind of kicking myself I wish I would have you know, made the effort to go out and see it like fly out and see it somewhere but hopefully within my lifetime it'll happen again somewhere on earth in a country that I can go visit and we can use that as a great excuse to go take a family vacation it's not a good time for us to go traveling right now we gotta gotta keep working Plus, it's difficult to travel with a one-year-old. Not impossible, but, you know, if we're going to go traveling with a one-year-old, we're going to make it worthwhile and go somewhere that's special, you know? Not necessarily spend all the money and make all the efforts just to go see an eclipse, which could damage his eyes anyway, right? How do you keep, uh, I guess you have to leave him in the car or, <laughs> or like, you have to stay in the car with him. But how do you prevent a baby from looking up at the solar eclipse, right? I don't know. I'm sure there's ways, but I wouldn't want to risk it, you know, damage his eyes. Probably not a good idea. Eclipse 
has come and gone and I didn't see any of it. I didn't even notice the sky getting any darker, so I guess I was too far away from the path of totality or whatever they call it. And it was all cloudy, so no eclipse for me. That's so disappointing, you know, especially people that are in the path and they've been waiting for years and years to see it. it must be so disappointing when it's cloudy. sort of trying to turn to snow, sort of snowing, raining, snaining, snoraining, rainowing, rain rowing. It's six degrees Celsius, so it's probably like 40 Fahrenheit. I don't expect it to get slippery. weather. Nothing to complain about. I don't know if I'd like to live so close to the road like this. These houses right by the road. I wonder if property taxes are less than if you're right beside a busy road. You would think so, right? But then again, you're right beside a busy road, so you have better access to getting out of the neighborhood. Right? Maybe that balances it out. Hey, it's tough to tell how property tax works. I see you there. take our tarps off inside. I like that better, especially in rainy weather like this. I don't want to roll up my tarps outside on the wet ground, even though they're already all wet anyway, but they get dirty that way. I don't like, I don't like them touching the ground if they don't have to. All right, I'm getting all my shoes and everything else on. Oh, oh I'll have to let the log know. Unloading cargo. I'm gonna go in and talk to them first, see if they want me in there. File folder here. Get my paperwork ready so that I can show it to them right away. I can leave this in here. And leave this in here. That's mine. Keep everything organized on a clipboard. A blue one, obviously, because uh, a blue pen, a blue steering wheel, a blue shifter. That's why my truck's called Old Blue blue sweater. I'll give you three guesses as to what my favorite color is. Alrighty, we got to go ahead to go inside and untarp inside the building. 
Ah. Why am I putting my seatbelt on? Whatever. Whatever. Now you can't tell me. Choose your seatbelt on. Put your seatbelt on. Truck is your Put your seatbelt on. I'm just going across the lot. Not even. I know you were going to comment that if I didn't. Even if I move it just a couple of feet, better put your seatbelt on. Be a good example, Truck is your Nice and slow. Da, 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 da. You go park right up here and then I can roll my tarps up off on the side there. Much better than doing it outside. The tarps always get extra dirty if you roll them up on the outside ground. There's some gravel back there too. I don't like doing that. If I don't have to. I mean, I do what I gotta do, right? Get the job done. Oh, it's about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Got an empty trailer behind us. I'm gonna go to the Olson truck stop uh, near Clearwater, Minnesota. Sort of between Clearwater and Monticello, I think. That was just under an hour and a half away from here. I should get there around 7.30 or so tonight. And then I have to leave there at 7 a.m. tomorrow. No, I have to leave there at 7.30 tomorrow. It's another hour to my pickup. It's one of those pickups where you can't be too early. So the pickup appointment is 9 a.m. So I want to get there at 8.30 a.m. It's about an hour from the truck stop. So I'll probably leave at about 7.15, 7.30. So then we'll have a good 12 hours there once we stop. Give me a chance to get some other stuff done. In 800 meters, turn left on and add 371 dr This truck feels so powerful when you're pulling an empty trailer. Oh, 
nice. I know, I'll still have people coming in the driveway here, past me, but they'll just be driving past. I like the sound of traffic moving past me. I don't know, sort of lulls me to sleep like a, like a little lullaby. It's diesel trucks driving back and forth past me. So that'll be nice. It's a beautiful evening out here. Definitely don't need to idle the truck through tonight. It's like the perfect temperature. What is the temperature right now? Let's check this out. Let's check this out. The temperature here in Clearwater, Minnesota is eight degrees Celsius. What is eight degrees Celsius in Fahrenheit? Eight degrees Celsius is equal to 46.4 .4 degrees Fahrenheit. That's perfect. That's perfect. Not too cold, not too hot. It's gonna be a good night. I'm gonna get a good, re good rest. So I'll see you right here in the morning. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of computer work yet. I have like 12 hours. Oh, well, 11 hours now before I have to get rolling. Uh, I stopped for a coffee before, so it's 10 after eight right now. And I need to get moving by uh, 7.15 to 7.30 in the morning. I'll get a little bit of computer work done. I'll uh, swipe through Facebook a little bit, catch up on some of your messages, go through the comments on yesterday's video, and then go to bed, get a good night's rest. So thanks for joining me today, everybody. Remember to stay safe out there. Please drive safe. Please. I mean it. There's too many people out here that drive like crazy people. And I know you're not one of them. My request is just don't become one of them. Please. There's a lot of crazy people. We got enough crazy people out here. So here's one of these lullabies coming past me right here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? <sighs> Anywho, we'll see you tomorrow. Please leave a thumbs up if you did like the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel down below. We make new videos every day of our life on the road. I'll go down to the description below my video. Uh, a bunch of links down there. Also a little biography of who I am, what I'm all about. I've been making videos online here for about 12 years already. So there's a lot to catch up on if you're new. Go to my main page. You can see all my playlists. Other than that, See you later. Take care, everybody. See you tomorrow.